Come on, buddy. that modded probably for the high altitude Get this data disk back to Z. Time to go. already tore through here.
action. Looks like a big firefight up ahead. We'll manage. Good luck. Looks like I've got a raider on my tail. Gonna shake him. met their match. Dagon's nowhere to be seen. Well, we got a good idea where he's headed. Get you at the top. Hey, 
Hang on. with the observatory. What? We're just following orders. <laughs> just a pawn? Do you carry a communication device? Yes. Activate it now. <laughs> My name is Dagon Gera. Your attack here has failed and your soldiers' lives are forfeit. Uh, I did what you asked. So let me go. All right. Die, you die, we all die. Your 
Throwing everything he has at us, huh? The skies are empty. I don't like it. He might have found the compass. We gotta hurry. Agreed. Circling back. See you soon. <laughs> One-way door. There's our man. Sorry to keep you waiting. Had to swat a few bedlam flies to make a landing. No problem. We got a whole swarm of them up ahead. <laughs> you ready for this, brother? Let's get that compass. Imps are just about cleaned out of here, huh? They underestimated the bedlam raiders. Dagon may be delusional, but he's got an army that believes in him. They think he's taking them to Tantalor. Oh, my dead body. as he tried to escape. Please, I surrender! This is the army that ended the mighty Jedi Order? Kill him. <laughs> Look at this tech. You know, my daughter loves gadgets. Yeah? Her favorite is this black market scanner I took off a HUD enforcer. What a mess of a father I've been. Nobody's perfect. You're fighting to give her a better life. You're right. All of this is for her. Hope we're not too late. If Dagon gets off planet with the compass. He flies out of here and we never see him again. I'm gonna pick up the pace and make sure that doesn't happen. I don't like the look of this.
Ready, Cal? Yeah. I need to focus. You sure you want to push that button? Do we have a choice? All right. Let's do this. Eliminate the Jedi.
Loctite. What do you think you're doing with that thing? Jedi stuff. Don't worry about it. Show off. I'm sure Z can decrypt this for us. Public scientists had it good.
They're onto us. Observatory is up ahead. Right behind the army of Bedlam droids. Saved some for Dagon. I'm ready. How about you, BD? We got a fight ahead, Cal. I'm game if you are. All right, let's move. Copy that. had only stood with me, we could have convinced the Council that Tanelor was worth the sacrifice. 
Now she's gone. Ravis is gone. The Order is gone, and I am free! You're not free, Dagon. You're alone. Why are you here when your true enemy is out there? How could you let the galaxy fall to this unworthy machine of an empire? You think yourself a survivor, but you are a failure! They haven't beaten us. Not yet. Now who is blinded by the past? Within the Abyss, the Empire cannot reach us. I will forge these raiders into an elite army led by disciples trained in the Force at my temple. Then, when the time is right, I will strike out and cleanse this galaxy with fire. <laughs> We've already got an Emperor. Give us the compass. And why would I do that? Because I'm a father who's running out of options. And you're standing in the way of a better life for my little girl. You hand it over, or I will put you down. What small dreams you cling to? No! Tanlor beckons. Your demise is inevitable. Back off! Pathetic! You're still chained by the past. If we are You're terrified. Is it here? I did what the order was too weak to do, and for that she betrayed me. Yes. Face me.
Precious. This ends now. Wait. Here, buddy. You miserable. <laughs> How does it feel to know that you're about to die? That your life meant nothing? Don't resist. You can't hide from me. Ah, yes. I feel it. Loss, suffering, shame, anger. There is immense power in such emotions, but you were too weak. And now it's too late. leaving. I will not return. You're lost. You've strayed from the path. And you are no Jedi. You! kind of force hallucination, fueled by fear. I use his against him. Not so scary now. Still in one piece. VD? Give me some good news. Maybe Dagon was right. <laughs> you sure you're not still, uh, 
You know. <clears throat> Think about it. Tantalor's a fortress. We should use it for the hidden path. Gather allies, train. They'd never see us coming. I don't know, that seems risky. Everything is at risk, so long as the Empire's around. Besides, you don't want Kata spending her whole life in hiding, do you? If she's safe, Cal? Yeah. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I understand that. But someday, someone's gonna have to face the Empire. Why not us? I bet Cordova can fix this up. Let's head back to Jeddah. Sure. I'm gonna take a look around first, see if I can find a manual for that thing or something. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Hey, buddy. You saved my neck. Again. Thanks. You go ahead, Cal. I'm sure the crew can't wait to hear the news. Meet you back at the Mantis. Terminal will have to wait.
one's a rare catch indeed. What is it? The fabled farfish. Its tail is one riven with greed, soaked to the bone with tragedy. There are scant few far left on account of their succulent glands. But I do not intend to harvest the poor creature for its organs. to bring it back to the saloon, where I might one day find a meat for it. Playing matchmaker, huh? You found another faw fish before? Uh, no. But fishing's about leaving the world better than you find it. A ripple's only as good as the stone you cast. Every tale, lad. So, you wish to prick up your ears and receive the tale of scuba? If you're sharing stories, we'll listen. <laughs> And you be a fool, my lad. My sordid tale will bring you nothing but grief and woe. Okay, well, if you're not sharing stories, we'll... Oh, fine, I'll tell you. At your own assistance, and at your own peril. My story begins in a small village on the frozen banks of Sankavi Tar. My home world. Nights black as quellfish in it. Winter so cold, a stern look could turn you to glass. Doesn't sound like the easiest place to grow up. Difficult, eh? From the moment your mother's milk froze on your tongue to the moment you found it upon frozen streets. You see, the fishes, they had the right of it. They dwelt far below the ice, where warm currents danced like ribbons in the wind. To fish so scarce a quarry, on account of the great fish famine, well, it's nearly a mild undertaking. But for all me belly aching now, there's a peaceful enough life for a wee Sakavian with an instinct for the rod. So you discovered your talent early? Such a talent was I, that as a lad, me hardly spotted my first prickly chin here. I was given an audience with Undun. But that'd be a tale for another time. Where are we? Ah, yes. By virtue of my prodigious fishing talents, I was taken to see the mysterious one they call Undun. I can see it still. We scuba, ushered into young black-mouthed cave. I could barely make out the figure, glinting with moonlight. I scrubbed my eyes like an old tar scrubbing the deck. And there she was, a vast creature. Great tentacles blooming from her blubber, like cables gorging on a fuel tank. One of the tentacles twitched into the air, just over my head, and then, wham! Right on the noggin, so I'm told. I staggered out the cave like a lover first acquainted with the deck. But something else happened. I think, when that fell tentacle struck me, Undun took something straight out of my brain and put something else in. She put something in your brain? Aye, boy. The subtle art of catching a fish. The art of focus. And in the dark, with nothing but the bristles on your chin for company, that focus is special. From that day forward, when I plunged my line into the frigid waters, it would emerge with a fish. Three times out of seven. That's less than half. My village told me that I'd be the one to save them from the great fish famine. Little did I know that the grapnel was soon to arrive on our shores. Gonna assume that's a bad thing. Perhaps I'd. And perhaps not. But that'd be a story for another time.
forces with me. Garden's nice and lush these days, huh, BD? A new specimen? Fascinating! Finish planting it, and I'll tell you what I know. Got some seeds. Let's get them in the ground. Gardening is creation. That's a new species. Better hear what Peely has to say about it. We wait. I see you planted a spine fluff. They are quite adorable, but beware. Nested amongst those plumes are some claw sharp needles. from around here? Been all over Coburn, but I knew I had to foot slog it back to the reach when I heard the stories. They say it's been a right barnyard since you arrived. Word traveled that fast, huh? If it's privacy you're worried about, mate, don't be. No one listens to old heart. But stop by if you ever want to hear the latest yarns, eh? My eyes what they are, I couldn't hit a tree with a boulder, but I got ears like a boulder. 